Hello, fluffy peep. Hair in the way, man. Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to Resident Evil 5. Now, this time around, unlike previous episodes, I've actually sorted my inventory before we go into game. There's a couple of things left to uh, do, but I've sold things, rearranged stuff, and we're basically good to go. Um, so, set rep. What did we learn by the end of the last episode? We learned that uh, Wesker is the one who killed Spencer, if we didn't know that already. I've... I don't know if we learned in the cutscene, but I have since learned either way that that woman with Wesker in the cutscene is Excella. Excella is a person, not a organization or something that I said last episode. It's that woman in the sexy dress. And we don't know anything about her, really. Um, we know that Uroboros, the upgrade to Las Plagas, is complete. Um, it's funny, I don't know if that cutscene last time was basically real time like now if that was like a flashback in the past or something i think it was now because yeah because jill walked in didn't she and that ex seller was like oh your friend chris is here so it must be real time so yeah and we saw right i missed it in the episode but right at the end of that cutscene it zoomed in on the complete cylinder uh containing the uroboros plagas so it looks like he's ready to go Global or some shit. Right. Anyway, so I've sold basically everything. Um, I've I've read all your comments. I've taken shit into account. Um, somebody said, and I agree with them, that the Magnum ammo is so sparse in this game that it's basically not worth using. I've sold the Magnum. Um, I've decided to keep the ammo though, and just like, I don't know, if I get out more ammo in the future, I'll stockpile the ammo and maybe use it again in the future um but somebody suggested selling all your grenades now i've got a grenade launcher so i'm not bothering with regular grenades anymore um no pistols uh the same person i think suggested don't bring any ammo in gives me a bunch of free slots and you can loot ammo as you go now i sort of agree with that sort of don't like sheva she pisses through that, that ammo when she doesn't have a pistol. So I'm not going to not give her the 76 backup ammo. You, you know what I mean? So that's staying. Um, I want the grenade launcher rounds. I've heard it's really good, so I want to keep the ammo for that. Um, stun rod, vest. That's still my go-to for close range combat. Um, but I kind of want to bring my ammo with me. I'll tell you what, if I need more slots, I can just purposefully like use up shotgun rounds do you know what i mean uh to get a slot so i'm actually good like this um oh, oh i almost forgot something else people have told me and i'm sort of glad they did um certain guns upgraded to maximum unlock special weapons now i don't mind being told that because that's the sort of thing i wouldn't notice until the end of the game sort of a thing um, I believe it's basically the first, like, the first pistol, the first shotgun, the first SMG. If you fully upgrade them, you unlock a special gun. I've even, I even know what some of them are. And I've decided, I'm, I don't know if you get enough money to do all of them, but I'm only going to do one in this playthrough. Like, I'm going to go out of my way for it, and it's the shotgun. Um, so yeah, uh, so I'm basically going to upgrade the shit out of the first shock and even though i'm not using it it's just to unlock that final shotgun um i think it's called a triple barrel or something or other but apparently it's really good i know there's a gatling gun but i'm not going to bother with that uh i only care about the shotgun and i've got fifty thousand money and i've checked there's nothing else i want to buy really except maybe a first aid um so you know what let's do that right now the, the sooner the better um I don't want to purchase it, though. Oh, hang on. Do I have to... Ooh. Oh, shit. Do I have to purchase it to upgrade it? I think you do. Uh, no, you do. Shit. Well, okay. It is what it is. Um, It's only 2,000. That's a shame, though. Shame that I ever sold it. Right, here we go. Uh, upgrade. I might not be able to upgrade it fully right now. It might be too early in the game. Um, 
but let's just spend all my cash on it. You know, why not? Upgrade. 2,000. 3,000 is getting more expensive. I know some of the upgrades are locked behind, like, chapters in the game, you know, so I, I almost certainly can't go to full yet. Oh, hang on, is that max firepower? It is. Oh. Well, I mean, shit. Oh, that was half my money. Fucking Jesus. Honestly, I'm upgrading this so much that it might even overtake that second shotgun that I bought. If I can't uh, get the final one yet. By the way, the final one, I know it costs like several tens of thousands of money, so even if I upgrade this fully, I still can't buy it yet. <laughs> but I don't care, right? That's two things to fall. Oh my god, that takes so many upgrades. Oh, let's just spam away, shall we? Um, oh, I don't know if you need the critical thing as well. Damn it! Right, I need to keep playing. I'll buy the critical, just get it done. Um, honestly, I'm, I mean, let's just quickly check the stats of the uh, regular one. It's 400... It's the same damage. They're 400 and 400. Uh... S three seconds, seven rounds. Four hundred, three seconds, seven rounds. Four hundred faster, sixteen rounds, and I've got a critical bonus. I'm switching that out right now. Um, this obviously is upgradable more, but... To, uh, for the goal of unlocking this special shotgun later, I might as well actually sell this. It's currently even with the first one. Um... And you get the ammo back as well. Yeah, you know what, let's sell it. I'm only interested in whichever one of these shotguns takes us over uh, to the special shotgun later, so let's sell that. Kind of a waste of money, upgrading the hell out of it, but... At least I get the shotgun ammo. Um, right Oh, How much money have I got now? Can I upgrade it further? <laughs> uh, oh no, right. Okay, I think we've got a few upgrades to go. Um, we've just finished chapter 4-1. Let's jump into it. Uh, I I've got a feeling we're going to have to at least get to chapter 5 before I can buy the other upgrades. Right, I think we're good. Sorry for the long wait. Oh shit, no cutscene. Okay. Hello! Uh... Come on! Okay! Hang on. Come on. Okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Roger. I've got to. I've got to re relearn the keybinds again because I haven't played for two days. Oh, all right. I might regret bringing all that ammo in. Like I said, um, does Sheva throw grenades ever? Because if she does, you grab it. Okay. I I've never seen her throw a single grenade though. Um. Oh, we've got bats. I've rewatched the last episode again to refresh my memory. Even though it's only been like two or three days, I forget it quickly. And I can't believe all that ancient ruin stuff I did last time was all one chapter. For, well, one part of one chapter, you know? Right, okay. Ah, oh, great. Okay, so I figured I was done with all that puzzle stuff. <laughs> nope. This is uh, m even more advanced puzzle. Looks like there are slots for three items. I see that. We need three magical discs. Uh, we can go left or right. Let's go... B uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, let's go back left first. That seems appropriate. Cutscene. Oh, here we go. I'm glad I brought the ammo, actually, because 
I think I'm about to have a wave of enemies. Dude! Bruh! Bring it on! No! Come on! What the fuck? Okay, fire beam. Fire beam. Watch out. That f It killed his- He killed his friend! These guys don't give a shit. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, hello. I've got the perfect weapon for this occasion. If I shoot past the mask, will it not get blocked by the mask? Oh, it does. Right, nice. I just need to shoot the sides of the head. Never mind. Once I shoot one, they all look straight at me. Ah! Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh no, the spear ones are crazy as fuck. Go. Okay. It's time to go ape shit. Okay, that worked well. I don't want to get a Leonidas speared again. Out of all the melee ranged dudes, the spear ones seem to be the most dangerous. Who knew light made a sound, eh? Um, right. Where the fuck is she? Oh, she's so gonna get hit by this sunbeam. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, she got a mine. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm pretty sure I just got a prompt there. What was it? Sheva, get out. I'm going to trust that the AI won't just let her stand in the way of that thing. Oh! Okay. Okay. Right, let's go. I'll take that. Uh, she can get that. What's down here? Anything? I was going to say something, but I've forgotten what. Let's just get on with the puzzle. I'm guessing we're going to have to redirect some light, maybe. By the way, more Egyptian um, sort of... I know that the ancient Egyptians, didn't they used to use light, like reflective light to light up underground caverns and, and shit? What the fuck did I just hear? Come on, Roger. You know what? Let's loot nice and. I can't decide if that's a that's a wolf or like a man just going. La, 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 la. All right, we've got the disc, but have we got any gems or anything? Oh right, okay, 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 real quick. I've got the, uh, manatee emblem. Oh, bring it on. Oh, fuck. I'm shit. That's a big fuck. We've got a big fuck. Um. Come on, Roger. Come on. Go, Roger. Ah! I've got him. I've got- <gasps> Whoa! Shit! I know he's big, I know he's big, but just keep it in him. Oh, I'm failing this time, aren't I? Fuck you. Run away. Oof. As long as I'm nice and fast with the bat on, we're good. That's shocking. I've got so much ammo. Fucking hell, they're strong. There, Jesus. It's a good thing I brought all this ammo, isn't it? Christ. Woo! Um, right. Let's reload while I've got a spare moment.
I can hear somebody somewhere. I still think the baton was a, a good decision. Oh, can I not? Oh, I thought a guy was operate. Come on! Fuck me. I had her on attack all that time, so she just lost all her ammo. Fuck! She really, she really has just used all her ammo. Oh, jeez. Right, there's more. You grab it. Okay. Okay. I was hoping there'd be a dude to snipe up there, but I don't think there is. Can I, can I make it all the way up there that fast? One, two, three. I can make that. Um, let's put the thing in. Sea emblem. Is it going to be air and land? Maybe I should go the, the safe way first. You know what? No, let's try it. Shevin might get cooked here. Oh, there's a, there was a pot. Oh shit! Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, okay. Okay, the AI indeed didn't get cooked. I want that barrel. <gasps> Never mind, I take back everything I ever said. Don't stand there, you melon! Oh. Why is the light stopped? And she took damages from that. <gasps> Move your ass! Oh my god. Oh my god. I stand in the middle. Come on, Sheva! Oh my god, Sheva! What the fuck AI is this? Oh, this was a stupid idea. There is a way to go. I'm gonna have to stick to... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Charge! Have a punch to the neck. Thanks, <gasps> Don't get hit again. Oh my god, she's even in the way. Come on! I don't know what to, to do. I'm, I'm going. What the fuck, man? I made no physical connection. Roger. Right. You grab it. Roger. Please don't heal with the herb. No. Oh, I would. I would have personally waited until I've, I don't know, got a red herb as well or something. But she's just gone and spent the herb. Shit. Oh well. Was this a a solo or with a friend? This would be easier. Shit. I just run forward. Uh, hide in an alcove, and you just keep progressing forward. But I've got an AI that is intent on getting blasted in the face. I wonder if you can turn this off by going that uh, other way first. And I've just made this harder for myself. Uh, these guys are dying to this sun thing. What's this? Three, two, one, <laughs> Ted. Charge! I don't know where I'm going. <gasps> Come on, Roger. You grab it. Okay. Well, I made it. I'll take that. Um. By the way, how I uh, I'd love to know how you change, like ammo types. I think I've got regular grenades in there right now, but I've got some flash rounds. Uh... Hmm. Sorry about this. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh... Hmm. Contextual action. No, 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 no. Huh. There is literally no button at the most of it. Oh, God. Somebody in the comments, let me know. Come on! I can't right now. You're right there, you can. Um. 
down. That doesn't do shit. Uh... No idea. Literally. No, that's just holding them. Damn it. Um. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. I'll put the, uh... I'll put the explosive rounds back in there. Nice. Uh, oh, I see. That's the way back. I love me... I love me a good Resident Evil puzzle. Oh, is she gonna go over there? On you go. What a leap. Oh, God. Behind me, or... No, 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 no. Come on, how's this fair? What could I do about this if I didn't have a sniper rifle? How? What bullshit is this? I'm trying my best. This is a bit unfair, like... Like, no bullshit, like... She ran past a one. Oh, there's even a big fuck up. She used the heel. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god, now they're coming at me. Time for this. That's how you do that. Um. You know what? Just use them up. Uh, I'll put one more into him. Okay, he, he should be damaged now. I know his legs are the stupid place to aim, but there we go. I did I did a good amount of damage. The AI in this game is better than I thought it would be. It sort of tends usually it's like avoiding traps. Uh, it's it's pretty good at like looting barrels and stuff, and even the com in combat it's quite uh, impactful. She'll just kick and kill enemies for me. Um, which is a good thing, but at the same time, um, I'm not sure she's. I'm not sure sending her th like around there will. She she's she's not going to loot every item, and when she picks up herbs, she just healed alone. Like I could if I could desperately have used a, a co-op heal there, but she just picked it up and instantly used it, and that guy's body is not disappearing. Is he alive still? No, okay. So yeah. I really wish that if you were solo, when you did this assisted shit, it switched you and you were Chev, you know? But it is what it is. At least you got a bit she got a bit of health out of it. This is okay, this is dangerous as shit. Right, okay, she's there. Can I go right now? It does look like it connects. I'm actually going to go back. Can I do this in one? I think I've got it. Yeah, it's good. I don't know where Sheva is. She's just gone. You see? The AI was good there. I saw her on the map. She was hiding. Bruh! So she not only she did she pick up a single green herb and then waste it. She she healed herself for like twenty five percent health. She then just got sunbeamed again. Come on! <laughs> I wish there was a button for stay here. You know what I mean? So you could attack, cover, or just literally stand in this spot and don't fucking move. <gasps> oh Jesus! Well, it is what it is. And these these things make an interesting sound. Come on, Sheva, Sheva, Sheva! Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. 
Sheva can die or what. Sheva, come on. Reload while I got a moment. Um. You know what? What the fuck, man? How did my shotgun not partially hit him like that? Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. I need to learn how to play. You grab it. Okay. Right, I'm taking this fucking hurt this time. I know we're in sort of <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> but uh she if I give that to her, she'll instantly heal us both. Or just herself. Right, okay, let's snipe some motherfuckers. Or better yet, let's toss one of these up there. Uh, I'm, I'll not wait. Oh no, let, another one, another one. While they're all grouped up. Perfect. Have an uppercut. Come on. Okay. You know, it might be worth... Fuck! I'm trying to stumble them to hit them. Wow, this is actually quite powerful. Are these... I might as well just shoot them in the head, I guess. What is he doing? Oh, fucking Jesus, man. <laughs> In the face. Alright, reload. Oh, my health is bad, man. Behind us. What the fuck is hitting me? Are you okay? hey, as there's a guy with a spear in our face. Oh, my God. Right, what the fuck hit me? Fuck you! <laughs> this is going badly, dude. Uh, oh, hello. Right. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh. Right, I see. It was that arsehole all along. Jesus. Oh my god. I'm sorry that I'm sucking so much. Um, that was that was a practice there. I was practicing how well I could stumble them with a shotgun. She just used a green herb, didn't she? Oh fuck it, fine, just use it. Yeah, I was practicing stumbling them with a shotgun so that I could run up and do the melee combat. But it's not like hitting them with a stun rod and doing the melee combat, where it's nice and fast. When I um when I'm aiming with a shotgun and I sh I shoot. There's multiple, there's a pipeline of delays before I can, I've got to switch, uh, well I don't have to switch, but um, you've got to unaim down sight and you can't move while you're doing that, then I've got to run at them and by the time I'm at them, they've already recovered from the stumble, so it's not really doable. I think I'll save the shotgun for panicking when there's too many, kind of like then. Well, that was a hard-fought emblem. I'm also sorry if the map is kind of like annoying to cover the screen. It's really helping me out, actually. Oh fuck! Don't get hit, Chef. If you get hit, I'm not. I'm not healing you with this herb. Charge to somewhere there. Let's get in here. Sheva, get in here. <laughs> Eek. Sheva, again, get your ass in here. Good. She's doing good now. 
Very good. Nice. Reload. Oh, no. Um, oh, I see a little shiny. I... I thought I had the stun rod out. Damn it. No wonder I'm doing uh, uh, so badly when I'm doing stupid shit like that. Right. Let me, uh... Well, that's just going back to where I've already been. Um... Sorry, what am I... T what am I talking about? I've got the final thing. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh, I've done a long one here. That's what she said. Go, 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 go. Uh, left or right, left or right, left or right, left or right. Jump down. Right, here we go. Okay. There we go. Go, go, go. I'm glad the, fi the residual fire doesn't hurt you. Right, let's do this. Uh, we finally did it. Lion, eagle, and manatee. And I see a shiny boy. Do you see that shiny boy? Yeah, it's a shiny boy. I'm liking these contraptions, though. I've got to say, it would take some... It would take some device to make, like, sunlight that powerful. It's like a magnifying glass times a million. I'm just doing a once-over to see if there's any gems. Because if I'm to buy this final shotgun... Um, and all the upgrades needed for it... And I, I believe you can upgrade the special shotgun itself. So we're talking hundreds of thousands of money. So I need every gem... I can hold. I need to stuff my pockets with gems and shit. Uh, if I uh, send her to a tank, will she get that? Go, Roger. Come on, that's, Roger. A, that's a big old no. That's what that is. Worth a lot. Diamond trillion. That sounds like it could be good. Right, reload, and we've got this. That was an eventful room. Bloody hell. I thought there was going to be a cutscene there. Right, we can take the map off for now. You know, I didn't check for medallions again. Um, I keep forgetting they exist, but I think that might be one down there. Somebody commented, by the way, saying, have you checked the, like, in-game store thing on the main menu? Uh, where you can buy stuff with, like, your points you get after the chapter completes. Um, I had a brief look before this episode, and all I can see on there is, like, figurines to buy, which doesn't seem, like, useful at all. Um, okay, let's go. Da, da, da. Uh, that definitely looks like a medallion to me. Uh, I mean, let's investigate it first. If that it, that wasn't a blue medallion, was it? No, it wasn't. Thank God. I definitely missed one back in that cavern, though. No, no, no. Come on. I can't right now. What is she doing? I see. There's a trick to What the fuck? Man. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Tread carefully. Those beams are dangerously focused. I didn't see the rest of that. What perfect timing on the little door closed cutscene and whatever. It makes me nervous when the AI goes and just runs off and starts doing shit. Come on. Forget it. Okay. Clearly, I can do some rotational shit here. Um, 
I'm, I'm guessing you've got your perf your quintessential uh, redirect the light to power all the gems uh, puzzle. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, I, th I think she just said there's some trick to lighting up the some. I mean, it's obvious what I've got to do. Any gems or anything though? Okay. Well, uh, there's something over there that doesn't have a light beam. I, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the the source of power it starts here. That's all cool. I think the only one we've got to turn is that final one there. I mean, literally. You can turn all of these, but the, the only the last one it looks like needs turning. Unless it's not this... Unless it ain't that simple. You know what I mean? Um... I mean... I, can, if I can't rotate it right, otherwise I'll end up backing up into that left beam. But can I... Can I go left without killing Sheva? There we go. <laughs> that would have been just perfect if you rotate, automatic rotate and slice her in half. Um, but I think that's it. Hang on, down. What? Well, before we do that, let's just go talk to her or whatever. See what she's doing up here. I guess that's an elevator. I don't know why did she come to here? Go! Okay. Come on. I can't right now. Okay then. Well, let's go down whatever this means. It's like it worked. Are we finished? I've got to say that's not much of a puzzle. <laughs> Not that I'm a puzzle master, but uh Or was that just the introduction? Pillars in the way. But I think we can knock it over. Right. Well thanks for telling us the answer. Come on! You can't be serious. Um yeah, I was gonna say, maybe that was just the introductory thing teaching us how to use the pillars and the light and shit. She she, she just picked something up there without me giving her the okay. Uh mm. I don't like this new confidence Sheva who's picking everything up, even in cover mode. Right, okay. Oh, Jesus. Watch me shit on the on the puzzles and now I won't be able to do this one. Okay, well, where's the source of light coming from? Um, if, if the portal games taught me anything, it's work backwards. Like, figure out what the final step is to get something working. And then work your way backwards from there. Or if I can see the source of power, work forwards from there. Puzzle techniques with liquid blitz. I mean, is the light supposed to come from a different room? She did say that pillar is looks destroyable. Um, the final one. Hang on. We're stuck. We came up from that one here, so we clearly need to power this one here to get out of here. So it looks like this is the final step. Uh, now hang on, she said it looks destroyable. Does that mean if I get rid of this puzzle or something, that uh, pillar, that sunlight will appear here or something? <laughs> we just, we just hit that. Oh right, this is what she meant. I mean... Oh. Bloody hell! What a kick this man has! Um, well that... Goes to there, goes to there... Well, I can see what you're gonna do. Let's do it. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't rotate... The pillar. You can't do a pass-through, either. I'm thinking in terms of, like, engineering and shit. You can't do a, f a direct pass-through. You've got to turn it 90 degrees. Um, there's that pillar there. Let's just see what... Can I rotate this, like, 
45 degrees. Is that a thing? No. What happens if I do a pass... A, is this just going to hurt me? No. But that's also not correct. <laughs> Come on, I want to. I want to. Well, clearly, can't do shit with that. Can't you just stop stop it from rotating that last forty five degrees? Um, let's just see what you can do with this. Um, a bunch of nothing. Herm. Oh. <laughs> I see. But then I need to rotate this. Then we're going to knock down that other pillar. Clever. Oh my god, me so smart. Nothing to make you feel inadequate than probably getting, like, you know... 12-year-old kids probably solved this faster than me. Um, any hidden gems or blue things? Nope. Well, there probably is, but I'm just too stupid to see it. Another one down. What's next? Hmm. This is what I live for. Who needs horror when you've got some nice, relaxing puzzles? It's my bread and butter. Story and puzzles. Right, you got your... Uh, you got your chest. I wonder if I've got to work my way to that before working my way out, if you see what I mean. There's no elevators, there's just a door there. An open door there. And a door there. Ooh. Her. Well, she always goes to a nice vantage point, so let's do the same. Right, okay. This is kind of awkward because... Uh, these doors aren't powered, are they? Maybe they are. Um... I mean, there's the, nothing, not, the light things don't line up with the doors, see, it's not like you point the light at the door. Oh, shit. Uh. It, actually, the map is telling us to go down there. Before we do, let's just check everything out. This room smacks of, uh, like, optional loot before you leave sort of a thing. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this better not lock me in. Or some sh- Come at me, bro. Oh, I failed. I failed. Sheva. Sheva? I know you're busy, like, just chilling at your vantage point. But help a brother out. Look at this poor motherfucker. A trap, what a way to go. Just a thousand spears. That's what you get for looting a tomb. Curse of the mummy and all that shit. Is this basically a warning for the future rooms? <laughs> it is, isn't it? I'm getting flashbacks of Metal Gear Solid 2 where you've got to defuse the bombs on the bridge and one of the bombs is behind Raiden's head and it takes it takes you a long time to see it. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of fallen rubble here. This is so gonna kill my ass. This ain't that simple. <laughs> oh, it's empty. That means there's a trap. Oh, shit. Uh, I've heard these flash rounds kill these in one. So, real fast, real fast. Combine, there, boom, done. Right, okay, get out of here, get out of here. 
Oh, fuck yes! I'm not gonna waste it on uh, just one roaming spider. But that was fucking brilliant! Whoever gave me the tip, thank you very much. They d the the flash flashes don't just kill the the tentacle boys. Um, we're in one, but also the hordes of spiders. That was fucking great. What a... Did you like how fast I was with the inventory switch? <sighs> Jesus. Okay, so that's the backwards tunnel. It would be nice if after that it actually gave you a treasure, but I guess not. Okay, so what the hell is this? Was this always here? This might be the final way out of here. It, it lines up perfectly with that shit down there and this. Hmm. Right, well, let's start redirecting some shit. Um, let's go back first, though. I feel comfortable roaming around because I will have to, I will have to move light to get out of here, so. Oh, shit. The last thing I want is to accidentally progress the, and leave the room and, you know, miss all treasures and shit. Oh, God, I'm sensing a trap again. Hello? Oh, hang on, we got a... Right, that's the way out. Okay. Let's go left first. So, we need the light to go to there. Uh... Let's just start moving light around. See what happens. As far as I can tell, this one has to go where it's going. Hmm. If I go quiet for too long, I apologize. I'm, you know. I'm stupid, so I've got to really focus. If I'm to do something. Can't kick this, can I? No. Okay. I wish Chris could duck, honestly, so I'd have to run around the entire g down room every time. So this is going to go to here, to there, to the... Right, that skull thing about opens both doors. For fuck's sake, come on! <laughs> oh. This is just good exercise for Chris. I know, I, I know it needs to be this. Are, are we spawning enemies here? This moment? No. I know it needs to be this way if you're playing solo. She can't just give you all the answers. But I, I, I just also canonically find it hilarious that she just stands there while Chris figures everything out. It's kind of just weird, <laughs> but funny. Treasures, beetle gold, I need all of this shit. Oh my god, I didn't even see the dude... Impaled like Jesus on the fucking cross. Jesus Christ. Because Jesus died by warrior spear as he was on the cross. Just like this spear as he's hanging there. Damn. It's some kind of altar. Fire's done a real number here. He's even like, caught, like crying out for help. Poor guy. I can be serious. Help me. Now that looks like it'll sell for a pretty, a pretty penny. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's get these first. Oh, 
Oh, snakes! You know, on the main menu, there's a there's a list of all your kills and deaths, etc. Shit. Um. Go. Okay. Come on. I can't right now. Damn it! She can't pick this up. That's a bit of a shame, actually. Yeah. Uh, on the main menu, you can see what all the thing different things you've killed and how many times you've killed them. So it orders your kills by most first, if you see what I mean. And snakes is like sixth on the list. I just found it funny. Oh, that's a, that, that is a real shame. You know what I'm going to do? Shit. Hang on. These can be used to heal. Uh, before they... Right. Okay, real quick. Before they despawn, I need to heal us both with the herb. And then I'm going to heal Chris with all the eggs. Because she won't come from this spot. Thanks, partner. You're welcome. I wish she would follow me so I could heal us both with the eggs, but it is what it is. Heal. In fact, I can just... I can... If I'm fast as shit, I can heal her with the eggs as well. Oh, this is a fast back and forth. Here, have an egg. Um... Actually... Thanks, you know what, actually, she can have the eggs. I know... I've just remembered eggs don't heal you both like herbs do. Shit, the other one disappeared. Um, but I wonder if she eats the eggs when she's low on health. Because I won't mind that. I know it doesn't heal me, but I'd rather... I owe you one. I'd rather she eat some eggs in a... in a panic. In an emergency. Okay. Keep swinging. Uh, right, hang on. Sorry about the back and forth. You know, it would be easy if she would fucking follow me. But I need to give her the egg and then the ammo. Thanks. You're welcome. I was, I was half expecting that to be like a pressure thing, like Indiana Jones and a giant boulder to come chasing my ass. I genuinely didn't see that. I was just going to hit the skull. Nice. Any others? Yes. I might, I might just hit these other masks just for lols. You never know. Don't you just love it when exp exploration, like going out of your way, is rewarded? I mean, granted, this room wasn't much out of my way, but... By exploration, I don't just mean running around, but actually looking at the walls and so on. Right, here are some bullets for you. Thanks, partner. You're welcome. Right. Let's do your final redirect. Uh... Huh. Now, hang on. Bear with me. It's that center when I need to rotate. It's the bare necessities, the simple... There's nothing to power in that final room, I don't think. Let's do this. Ooh. I'm not bullshitting you, this might be my favourite episode yet. I have trapped myself. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Um, how am I going to do this without trapping myself? I mean, clearly, you, you just crouch. <laughs> It, you know what I mean? Like, puzzles are all good and well, but when there's a very obviously logical way of, like, avoiding a light beam, just crouch down by about a foot and you're, you're fine. But instead, I've got to figure out a way out of here. It's a little... Oh, I know how to do it. I need I need to redirect one of the side ones and then finish the pu this puzzle by doing that one. Do you see what I mean? Uh... So, for now, 
I'll just, I've got no choice but to go and do that. And then I need to, like, aim this one back on itself, just for now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, I just want to go one quarter turn. Oh. I mean, that's good enough, but that wasn't what I was, you know, trying to do. And... Uh, that should be perfect. There you go. Shit, shit, shit. You've got to hold on to it. And that's how you do that. Oh, oh, fuck off. Do I have to do the same except get Sheva out of here? No, hang on. She can go all the way around. No, she can go all the way around. Come on, Sheva. Enough sightseeing, damn it. Alright, we got it! I, th I got it, I think you'll find. Huh. You with your five free eggs and your free ammo and not helping. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Right, okay. What's the deal? Where are we at? Um, I'll put your explosives back in. I think getting rid of the Magnum was a good choice, because I've just got, like... With space, I've got space for a heal or whatever, and one space is all I need. You know? Sheva's carrying all my, sort of, refuse and things I don't want just yet. What is this place? Good question. Oh shit, look at this place. Flowers, it's like some sort of... ...mausoleum or something. Oddly triumphant music. How can they survive underground? Light. You got your light, that's all you need. These are no ordinary flowers. They kind of look ordinary. Oh, right. Are they like Wait. virus flowers or something? I saw spores in the air there. It'd be hilarious if we were infected now just by breathing in some spores. Umbrella. What? Umbrella. What was Umbrella doing? I don't know. It doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. You can be sure they wanted to keep this place a secret. Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together? Tricell and Umbrella. They are separate, aren't they? Did I know that Tricell... I got it wrong when I spoke out loud last episode. Excella is that woman in the sexy dress. She is the director. She's the leader of the African branch of Tricell. I don't know if they're a competitor to Umbrella, or they're working in cahoots or whatever. SSSC, that's what I like to see. Let's keep it on going. Um, well, let's sell all your treasures. 21,000, you know what, that's not bad at all. Um, Herm, we're pretty much good. I mean... Somebody said, now I've got the grenade launcher, I'll never need regular grenades again, and I can see why. So I'm going to actually sell all your mines and grenades. I'll keep the eggs for an emergency heal. Um, sell, sell. Good, and I'll save that. Right, anything new? Last chapter and last episode, apparently I missed a shotgun right at the start. Um... I think it was the second shotgun that I bought from the menu in the end, but I don't know how the hell I missed it. Anything new? Oh, a new pistol. Yeah, okay. New pistol, fair enough. Bulletproof fast. Or, 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 hang on. Bulletproof fast. I've... You've got your melee vest. Bulletproof vest. Ain't seen no bullets yet. Keep that in mind, that's... Is that a spoiler? <laughs> Am I about to face dudes with guns? Because we haven't seen a single 
bullet yet. It's just been tribal arrows, at worst, like explosive arrows. Hmm. Oh god, darn. Gosh darn. I tell you what, we'll do this next chapter without it. It's just one chapter. I should be good. Uh, but but if it turns out there are bullet enemies, uh, I'll buy that for next chapter. Uh, yeah, and here are all your grenade rounds. I had a brief look at these earlier. You can buy explosive or half the price is acid. And a quarter of that price is flash. Flash is so cheap. Huh. Okay, cool. Well, all I'm going to buy is upgrades for the shotgun if I can. Yes, nice. I spent all my money. Okay. Oh, that, honestly, the how slow that's going up, that looks like it's going to take until the end of the game before I can get the special shotgun. Hmm. Well, I'm good to go. Uh, I'm good on everything else. Um, da -da 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 -da. Am I good to go? My inventory looks like a carbon copy. An exact copy of the start of the last chapter, which is... A plus three eggs. <laughs> which is good. I don't have a first aid this time. Um, and you know what? It's only a thousand. And I'd rather sort of... I'd rather be comfortable with one heal than have zero heals. Um... And I'm gonna I'm gonna take it on Chris's inventory. We've got enough money to cover two bulletproof vests for next time if I need to. Now I am full here, but I don't want her just insta using the heal as soon as we start the damn chapter. So I'm taking it. And let's go. Ready? Yes. Let me know in the comments actually. This is what uh, I meant by answers. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella, and that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Can we dig up some flowers? Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what, uh, at what like chapter, or after which chapter, I can actually fully upgrade the first shotgun. Um, cause if, if you can only fully upgrade it to get that special shotgun after the end of chapter five entirely or something, then I'm not going to worry about it as much cause I'm quite a ways off from that. So, can I investigate these flowers? Was Umbrella res doing research on these flowers? Alright, I'm definitely feeling like these are some sort of special flowers. You had to do so much puzzle solving just to get to the ca cave with these flowers. And there's umbrella shit, there's tricell shit. These must be some sort of special flowers. Are these used for the literally directly the virus? Somehow maybe these are used to create the parasites or something? Anyway. Any... Uh, medallions or whatever. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hang on. Uh, I see you up there. Once again, my exploration was rewarded. Yay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Umbrella, what do they have to do with this? Are we going to find a handy book somewhere with some information? The Umbrella logo. What the hell are they doing here? I'm a, I might as well look at all these interactables. They've even got like an irrigation system around the flowers. So they, they are definitely growing and doing like the cultivating these flowers. What did Umbrella need with all this heavy equipment? Well, clearly they're uh, they're cultivating this flower area. Aha! Thank you. Uh, 
Imagine that. Imagine that a flower is responsible for all the horror in the Resident Evil universe. Um, is there more to sh sh see down here? Hang on. What? Oh, I didn't even see that. Exploration, yay. If Chris had some, like, video game character stats, exploration or p perception would be 10 out of 10. <laughs> or maybe, should, maybe I should say if I had, like, video game stats. Looks like water purifies. The water is probably for the flowers. There you go. That was a formal confirmation. They are growing these special flowers. Well, here we go. No smoking area any time. If I was Solid Snake right now, I would just be huffing and puffing away. Fuck that sign. A clipboard with some old and new documents attached to it. Um, construction supervisor's log. So we finally kicked the Ndipaya from the ruins they were squatting in. I have heard it was just to get this flower field, but that's the least of my concern right now. One thing I do know is that the construction here has been a colossal headache. Trying to build something among these ruins is almost impossible to begin with, and just to get started we had to change the groundwater channels. That meant the flower bed wasn't getting irrigated properly, and now the flowers are dying. Pardon me. And to top it all off, I have the head researcher, Brandon, breathing down my neck. He says he wants the facilities to be at least three times bigger than originally planned. He's not asking for much, is he? So, after that got approved, they fired the supervisor before me, Peter. Did they turn him into a zombie? Not sure why, though. Maybe he looked at them wrong or something. If I let these flowers die, the same thing will happen to me. I can't help but sympathize with poor Petey. Working with these science types is a pain in the arse. I hope we find a new water source soon. Our surveys show that there might be some on groundwater 500 meters or so down. What a fucking problem. <laughs> what an engineering solution would be required to go 500 meters. That's like 1,500 feet down. Jesus Christ. That's pretty deep, so we'll probably have to use that new pump system the Fabiano company makes. Hopefully that'll work, but with how everything has gone so far, I'm sure something will go wrong. The only problem is that I have no idea when I'll be getting these new pumps. Even best case scenario, there's no way we'll get those new pumps in here and set up before the year is out. Looks like we'll just have to use an old-fashioned manpower. I'm, I'm starting to lose my voice. And I've only just started reading. Looks like we'll just have to use the old-fashioned manpower to fetch water for those flowers so they don't die. Looks like I'm going to be spending the last Christmas of the 60s. What the fuck did you just say to me? Looks like I'm going to be spending the last Christmas of the 60s. Away from my family in a dank, dark cave, playing gardener for some flowers. Ain't life a bitch. Sick! So that this notepad has been sitting here for 30 to 40 years. Or 40 to 50 years. 50-ish years. There's no way. This notepad would be old and decrepit. Uh, the document following this is newer. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is long. Administrator's log. The pumps are properly irrigating the progenitor flowers. Oh, it is the virus flowers. But they require a lot of maintenance. Umbrella installed these pumps over 30 years ago. So they did get the pumps installed eventually. 30 fucking years ago. I had no idea Umbrella was that old. So this is like a, a revelation to me right here. It's a wonder that they still even work. The tank that filters the water is barely holding up. We need to replace these pumps as soon as possible. In a lucky turn, I found the log of Umbrella's construction supervisor. It said the pump system here was designed by a company called Fabiano. I think we use Fabiano pumps in our natural resources development division. I'll talk to Mr. Irving, that creepy face guy who turned into a giant kraken. 
the for he's he was the foreman at the oil plant. Huh. And see if we can't get some newer pumps. I don't know why, but that guy's demeanor and just the way he spoke, he doesn't seem like much of a foreman to me. I'm pretty sure Irving was that kind of guy who would probably be bullied by all the oil workers <laughs> if he actually worked on an oil rig. And that's not a good thing. Bullying is never good, but you, you get what I'm saying. With his 70s gambler looking jacket. From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal, number one. Um, and Brandon was mentioned th like 30 years ago. 1966. The year that England won the World Cup. December 4th, Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumour or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognise the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. I recognise Marcus, he's another one of the original people to work on the viruses. He hypothesized that a virus, here too unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so... that's a made-up word. <laughs> the man was so perspicacious. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in that flower was labelled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from the, from the Ndipaya. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Doctor, even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return home as soon as possible, to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secret of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. A year later, we've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA-altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass-produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is where a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they are grown triggers the development. The development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. I guess it's some something special in this cave, maybe? Along with the flower? Uh, a month later, we've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction this research was taking. During that debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Um... Is this before Umbrella was a thing? I guess it is. Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Heh. Well, okay then. So this flower is special, but it's, it doesn't work on its own. It would seem to be. Right, okay, let's do this. Finally, get some, some gameplay. <laughs> Come on! Okay. Uh goodies. You grab it. Roger. Mm, you know it's funny. Upgrading the first version of all the weapons is what gives you the special weapon. And I, and I decided not to go with the second SMG for her. She's using the first one. So if I, fu if I fully upgrade her SMG, I can give, if I can afford it, I could get the special SMG as well for her and the special shotgun for me. More reading. Um, Brandon's journal number two. Sorry if you don't like these reading parts, but I'm here for the story. A year later again. Uh, it's been over a year since we've already had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can, it makes sense. If they can't do it in the US or whatever, you've got to go to the source of the flowers. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. I know those routine attacks by the... Mm, am I pronouncing that right? Ndipaya. 
um, are really going to rack my nerves. Um, but for the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of my foreseen dismay, it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. If you're worried about the Ndipaya, then we'll have just have to remove them from the equation. If you're worried about all the locals, kill them all. What an evil fuck. I can only imagine the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an atypical solution to our problem. <laughs> Genocide? Jesus Christ. I'd call that a stronger term than an atypical solution. But it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. A few months later, finally some good news. We learned they were able to chase the Indipaya off their land. Uh, the land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, then there should be no issues. Unless the other half contains something that the flowers need. Mm -hmm. Mr. Spencer said he plans to construct research facilities at the site. Da -da 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 expedite our da -da 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 research into the da -da -da virus. We hastily made our preparations to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training center. Um, that sounds like a different Resident Evil game to me. We were initially taken aback by this request, but soon realized it was the logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use this time. Da -da 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 -da. Built shit in Africa soon. So now I will go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Marcus and Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. I need a drink, man. I'm getting parched. Mm. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents, and we have to employ armed soldiers to keep the Ndipaya at bay. But the thing that gets on my nerves the most is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is, a th is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from the progenitor flower so I can send them to Marcus. Hopefully I can focus on my work. I can remain, uh, if I focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. 1969, we went to the moon, and then the research facilities are finally completed. This is the real Umbrella Africa Research Center, not some pile of tents. But I've come to a realization in the past nine months. The facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make them larger, more suitable for research. Well, in that cutscene two, uh, no, yeah, last episode, at the end, we saw they had a plant. Because Wesker and Excella were, were talking in a room with, like, huge Ouroboros cylinders and shit. So we know there is a, a facility somewhere. Then we can fill the facility with more talented researchers. This place needs to be our front line in our progenitor virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr. Marcus and his viral research. In a rare turn of events, that old skin flint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. Red button means power. More reading. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this is going to be a shit episode for people who don't want to watch some reading. Research Center Director Brandon's Journal number three, maybe? 1998. Bloody hell! Fucking, that's a. That's 69 to 98. That's a 29 year jump. Jesus. We, we've closed down the research set. So he was here for like 30 years. No way. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arclay facility and Raccoon facility were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I don't know, after you'd spent 30 years on someone else's work and research? I've spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was from Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard he had died all those years ago. 
I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It was as if all my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the virus to all of Umbrella's labs. I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie, ambling through life. <sighs> no thoughts, no feelings, and this is getting creepy. And now the- or sad. And now the research center where I've spent half my life is closed. This is tragic. <laughs> I really don't care one way or another. He sounds de depressed to me. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it's too late to have any semblance of a life again. What a sad... So Brandon wasted all, like, decades researching shit for people who never cared about him. Oh, fuck handgun ammo. Oh my god, another document. <laughs> my throat is proper dry. <laughs> Telegram from James Marcus. Uh, T virus development a success in 1978. Hang on. It was a success as early as 1978. So from 78 to 96. That's 28 years. 78, 78 to 96. 78 to 96. No, that's eight, 18 years. For 18 years, Paul Brandon was down here continuing his research on flowers or some shit. But the virus had already been successful. Huh. Hang on, so poor Brandon, before this shit got shut down, spent 18 more, after all that, 18 further years, pointlessly just sending out flower samples. He was basically a glorified flower caretaker. Uh, that's kind of... Oh shit balls, man! That's kind of hilarious. Did, did I just see what I thought I just saw? Did I see a Spider-Man zombie? Invoice copy. Umbrella training facility, Dr. James Marcus. Five cases of the progenitor sample, 1977. Okay. Brandon Bailey. Poor Brandon was just used. He was the flower man for 30 years. I did see a Spider-Man zombie because he crawled over that shit. Okay. Ooh. Brandon's lab? I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. Huh. We know there is a, a is the parasite. The picture. No doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. Yes, we are. We know there's a there's a parasite. And a parasite doesn't just come from flowers magically. It's like a separate life entity. So you've got parasites and flowers. I don't know. I'm confused how they sort of you know, how those two things come together. Oh god, here we go. Fuck it. At this rate, I'm only going to be able to record this one episode today because my voice is shot already. Try cell research of Miguel's journal number one. <laughs> number one. When, I'm going to try and read this fast, but still take in the information. Okay. When I heard it was the lab used by Umbrella in Africa, my expectations were raised, to say the least. But when I saw it, well... It's a lab in name only. I don't know how Umbrella ever used it, and Lord knows how Tricell could possibly have any use for it. The place was abandoned long ago, so there's nothing there of any value to us. Not one piece of lab equipment remains. At least nothing that still works. I can't say I'm surprised, because I half expected this. Anyway, the important thing is the progenitor virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would have been no need to come to this rundown Umbrella facility anyway. We've already... We already have samples of the T-virus, the G-virus, and the T-Veronica virus, uh, which I don't know anything about. And even the last Plagas parasite. We have everything we need for our research. We just didn't have that damned progenitor virus. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Previous... So the last Plagas parasite... Is... So I, I am right, it's nothing to do with the progenitor virus, which comes from the flowers. Maybe the Ouroboros parasite, or Plagas, is a mixture of the last Plagas parasite and the progenitor virus somehow, like, like, like two worlds coming together. But we finally got our hands on the progenitor virus. Hopefully this will give us that much needed breakthrough. 
will give us that much needed breakthrough in our research. I can't wait to start working on it. I wonder who came up with the name L Lick. <gasps> oh. You fuck off with your liquors, seriously. I wonder who came up with the name Licker for those creatures. Probably because they've got the long fucking tongues. When you see its... <laughs> when, when you see its long tongue, you know it, it's just the perfect name. But for researchers like me, bioweapons like Lickers are just a pain in the ass. If I said Lickers were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my praise. But they're pretty much an evolutionary dead end. There's no room left for improvement. I mean... Yes, there is. That's all you can always evolve. Grow some hair so that you can cope in cold environments, etc. Next, bioweapons that were created using the T-virus don't seem to show much improvement when the progenitor virus is administered. I mean, their abilities show some slight improvements. For example, their sense of smell seems more or less improved. But that's all we've got so far. They're still blind as an old lady and they're ugly as shit. <laughs> their biggest jump in their revolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but since there are sti there's still a demand for liquors on that bioweapon market, I guess things aren't all that bad. Who is buying liquors? I want to see that, like, Amazon listing. It's those flowers again. Somehow I don't think these are from Mother's Day. No idea. So they're trying them underwater. I think I've seen enough of these flowers. It's those flowers, like those pesky flowers again. Somehow I don't think these are from Mother's Day. Oh. Okay. This is like all your info in one room. An email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to, give, uh, to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project, uh, so they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow, and we we'll finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona, and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. Something to tells me they were all turned into liquors. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work and he's a good researcher and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and he's good at noticing details. But every time he opens his damned mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and out. I wish we made a sedative I could give him. That's creepy. Uh, but forget all that. What matters is that I should be home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We'll, we've got to go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. And these aren't umbrella computers like in the other room. This is tricellar computers. No collectibles. Oh, we got the blood smears. We got the blood. <laughs> if oh, that was a liquor we saw crawling. Oh my god, it was a liquor. I barely paid attention. I just saw something crawling. I figured it was some new villager thing. But if I if there's ever like a liquor slash on a wall, it's this. Right, shotgun, I ain't fucking. The stun rods have been great so far. I ain't stun rodding a fucking liquor. You know what? I might be a dick. But I actually kind of want to try. There's no way with these scr <laughs> These fucking. There's no way these aren't liquor scratches. We've gone from one slash to three. Oh. Hello. Oh, half of these doors look like shortcut doors. Are we going to be running from a liquor? Turn, Chris, turn! Look at him go. Oh, God, help me. Oh, fuck off. Oh, God. 
It looks like it was torn apart by animals. Not a good way to go. Dude, we've just read how many things on like liquors and stuff. How, how's he not got the memo that this is liquor, liquor handiwork? Come on, Chris. He's smarter than that. Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> I saw something. How are, how are they oblivious to what I am not oblivious to? Oh shit! Okay, I did that as like a, a joke. I didn't mean to actually break the glass. Um, but hang on, let's just see. No, we can't open doors or anything. What did we just... Before we go say hello to Licky Boy, what did we just turn on? Now, it's- oh, look at the size of this rat! Oh my god, we got- Fucking hell, never mind, never mind that rat! Look at this one! Oh. Some lab animals, how long have they been locked up? I mean, fucking Jesus. The, a rat that size would, would kill your ass so fast. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, you guys are probably gonna hate me for this. There's no doubt a liquor like around the next corner, but I've gotta end the episode. We are over time. I hope that's a dog that I can hear. We're gonna have to end the episode clearly before I'm about to run into a liquor. Um, it is what it is. Thanks for joining me for this part. There was a lot of reading in this part. <laughs> there was a lot of puzzle solving, and then there was a lot of reading. Um, but it is what it is. <sighs> My voice is actually, like, partially gone because of that. I might take uh, a ten minute break and have some soothing Pepsi Max or something. And then I'll record the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe for similar content. Uh, all my social links are in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support the games that I play, etc, etc. Catch you in the next episode. Liquid Blitz. Liquid Blitz.